Greetings from Southern Yankee Homestead. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Uh, yeah, it's wild hair day. I just got back from the store. I haven't completely changed out into work clothes yet. Had to go get some uh, parts. Uh, the long trailer, when I took it out and I think it was February, and I got back, I found that I'd blown a bearing on it. Uh, I haven't got into it because I haven't needed it, but uh, tomorrow for me, it'll probably be last week for y'all, uh, tomorrow for me, I have a job uh, in the local area where we're going to be doing some brush hogging and um, rototilling. So I need the long trailer so that I can carry the brush hog. It makes it very long. And also the rototiller. So we're going to start by doing some prep work before we get everything pulled apart. So we need that and that. And this is why I'm prepping in here. These are the outer races. What we're going to do is throw them in the freezer. Then we're going to go about getting the rest of the stuff set up and done uh, to and probably pull the uh, old bearing out and start breaking the races out of there. Uh, you'll see why I did that a little further in the video. You may know if you've ever done this kind of work before why I did that. If you didn't, I'm not going to tell you because <laughs> I want you to watch the video. So I said we we're going to be changing out the bearing. That is the bearing we're going to be changing. Thankfully it got me home last time. Uh, I was driving and didn't even know it was bad. Doing my post trip walk around. I noticed that uh, I was missing a bearing cap. Uh, the reason the bearing cap is missing, let's see if this will do it. Yeah. We'll jack it up and then try that again. doesn't actually seem that bad. We're still going to pull it apart though and take a look. Well, that would be bad. Need a shoe? Yeah. And we got a retaining spring. Hmm. All right. Looks like we're doing a brake job on this instead. And it turned out that I lost a brake shoe. It happens. I think what happened was the brake shoe released, or it came off, and it came off with enough force that it blew the bearing cap off. And that's what I end up noticing. But the problem I'm having with this is it is let me get you in the frame here 
Yeah, I'll put you up here. Now, the problem that I'm having is I forgot to get brake cleaner while I was out getting new brakes and bearing caps and all that fun stuff. So I thought, since we have a product placement, we'd try this to clean the brakes. I also have this other blue can here. I'll show you what I'm going to do with that in a minute. So before we get started, And while we're at it, we might as well clean the tire. I'm going to hit it one more time. Now, if you're wondering why I'm spraying it before I work on it, if you didn't know, brakes still have asbestos in them. So I'm trying to get as much of that brake dust out of there as possible. Um, with that, you can also see this rim here. I mean, it did look like did look like that just a minute ago. I'll give it another extra shot in here because this is particularly bad. So now we're going to go ahead and just give her a good rinse. I'd rather have wet hands than asbestos hands. If you remember, I said I had that other blue can. What this is for is the spindle. The reason I sprayed it down with that is because that's water displacing. the water will wash off. Oops. All right. So that will keep our spindle nice and clean and keep it from rusting. So, let me go ahead and take this apart. This is going to be fun.
I guess. There's nothing left to do. But put the brakes all back together. So I hope you enjoyed this short. And I hope it was informative. And I hope to see you here in the homestead again soon. Bye. Greetings. Welcome to Southern Yankee Homestead. If this is your first time, I just screwed that up. If it's not your first time, I still screwed that up. Let's try that again.